All right. Last section, we talked about special parallelograms. This section, 6-5, we're talking about conditions for special parallelograms. Last time it was, uh, let's say, properties. So we were talking about what makes these things special parallelograms, rectangle, rhombus, and square. Now we're talking about conditions. Okay, now we're saying, you've got a parallelogram that has this. Is it a rectangle? Okay, it's pretty much taking the least amount of information you can and then assuming the most specific, specific thing it can be. Okay? So, uh, first one, we'll start with rectangles. Rectangles. Okay, it's pretty much the properties you learn, but switched around. So this one is, if you know this is a rectangle, or I'm sorry, if you know this is a parallelogram, which means the opposite sides are parallel, all that junk. If it's a parallelogram and it has one right angle, it's a rectangle. Because if that one right angle is not, you know, is 90 degrees, we know the opposite one's 90 degrees. We also know in a parallelogram, the ones that are next to each other add up to 180. So 90 plus what equals 180? 90, and then it's, it's opposite, it's 90. So if one angle, if one angle is 90 degrees in a parallelogram, it has to be a rectangle. Okay? Unless, obviously, it can be a square. But it's still considered a rectangle. Squares are rectangles. They're just more specific. It's like saying, I'm an American. I'm an Arkansan. Uh, it's like a more specific thing. Neither of them is wrong if you live in Arkansas. So, therefore, it's just more specific. Okay? Now, the second thing you can do to find out is if you have a rectangle and you do something, or, sorry, I keep saying rectangle. I'm sorry. If you have a parallelogram, if you know this sucker right here is a parallelogram, and then we know that these diagonals are congruent, uh, the diagonals are congruent, then we know it has to be a rectangle. So if you got a parallelogram with the diagonals congruent, it's a rectangle. Okay. All right, and that's it for rectangles. Okay. If you've got a parallelogram and you know the one right angle in it, it's a rectangle. Diagonals are congruent, it's a rectangle. All right. Let's talk about the round bins. All right. I'm just going to box this in. That way if you, well, I guess you could always pause it. <laughs> rhombus. Things about a rhombus that make it a rhombus. All right. First thing. Okay. If you have a parallelogram, we know this is a parallelogram. If there's one pair of consecutive sides that are congruent, like if one set, like if we know that two sides that are right next to each other are congruent, we know it has to be a rhombus. You know why? In a parallelogram, opposite sides are congruent. If this is seven, what does this have to be? Seven. And we already told you that was consecutive, so what does its opposite have to be? Seven. So it has to be a rhombus, okay? So if we know two sides are congruent in a parallelogram that are right next to each other, consecutive is the word, then we know it is a rhombus. Let me say that again without stuttering or mumbling like an idiot. In a, if it's a parallelogram and two consecutive sides are congruent, it's a rhombus. Okay? Um, next one. In a parallelogram, if the diagonals are perpendicular, it's a rhombus. If the diagonals make a 90 degree angle, it's a rhombus. Okay? And last thing. If it is a parallelogram, and the diagonals, okay, I'm sorry, I had to pause there. I had to think about my entire life before I performed. All right, now, if this is a parallelogram, and these diagonals bisect these angles, then it has to be a rhombus, okay? So pretty much what this one is, this whole section, was we were looking at it. We were looking at it from, if it's a parallelogram and I know this, does it make it a rhombus, a rectangle? Okay. Now, if one of these things for rhombus and one of these things for rectangle are true, it's a square. Okay? If it is, has any of the qualifications that makes it a rectangle and anything that makes it a rhombus, it's both of those, which we know the combination of rectangle and rhombus is square. 